Hello everyone. Hope all are doing well. And this is Team Sixteen. Myself Jadhav Aryan from EC Department. My other teammates are Nikit Matai Manoj and Amgotu Abiram Nayak. We are working on this project since last four weeks, and how we have finally made this project. And our project is electronic stethoscope. I am the who working on the hardware part and little bit in software part. I have helped them. Aim for this project is. The electronic stethoscope converts the acoustic sound waves obtained through the chest piece into an electrical signal. The electrical signal can be transmitted to the computers and the laptops. The electrical stethoscope, I mean electronic stethoscope, the electronic stethoscope overcomes the low sound levels by electrically amplifying it. The body sound, which are produced by heart and lungs, when the blood flows to the arteries and the veins. The material required for the making electronic stethoscope are the usual stethoscope and the Arduino Uno R3 and a microphone which I have used in this project is Max 4466 and the jumper wires and the finally a USB which connects the Arduino and the laptop. The software used in this project is Arduino IDE which plots the graph digitally. Now let's see how our project works. and this is the microphone as we see in our study the microphone is max 4466 microphone is a input device a transducer that converts the sound waves into an electrical signal and we we have we can see the max 4466 has three pins one is output pin and one is ground pin and one is vcc pin the vcc stands for voltage common collector and it is a power input of a device as we see it is a microcontroller it is a brain of an arduino it has 28 pins the microcontroller used on a uno board is a at mega 328p it has a flash memory of 32 kb and the program loaded from arduino id is stored in it and we see it has six analog pins and labeled as 0 to 5 these pins measure just an voltage not the current because they have high internal resistance internal resistance this pin can also use it for digital input or an output as we see the reset button in red color when switch is clicked it sends a logical pulse to the reset pin for a microcontroller that runs the program from the starting i and we we see this is a power source the power source of an uh, arduino you know you can see it has 3.3 volt 5 volt and the ground voltage and now let's see these are jumper wires we have used to connect the microphone and the arduino you know and this is the usb which connects the arduino you know and to the laptop and i have used the stethoscope and i have cut it from the bottom to fix a microphone in it now we will assemble the parts to see the results and this is the microphone and this is the hole as we see i have just fixed the microphone in a stethoscope the orange wire i have connected to the 5 voltage power source and the one for the ground and one for the analog pin a0 as you see the orange wire which is connected to the power source for 5 volt is connected to the vcc which is voltage common collector of a microphone and the ground is connected to the ground and the output is connected to the analog pin a0 
successfully connected and the USB 4 you see it shows a TX and the RX the TX stands for the transmitting and the RX stands for the receive the indicator led which blinks whenever the UNO board is transmitting or receiving data. Now let us see the code. And as we know, these are the multi-line comments which does not involve in the code. Now let us go to the setup. We use a begin function for the serial library to initialize our serial communication and we send a standard baud rate of 9600 the rate the baud rate defines as the rate at which information is transmitted in a communication channel as now we go to the loop which covers over and no over again as once it is executed now we set up a variable for the declaration and the initialization we set up a variable name as sensor value to initialize to output analog A0. The analog reads is a real integer goes from 0 to 1023. 0 refers to the 0 volt and 1023 units refers to the 5 volts. Then we set up a new variable as, as a voltage. We use a float function for the decimal points. Now we set up a new uh, variable as voltage equal to sensor into 5 by 1023 units and we will send a voltage to print line function from the serial library so that we can see a serial plotter or a serial monitor on a Arduino ID. This is a serial printer voltage. Now let's compile the code by uploading it. It shows the uploading and the, it shows the done uploading. When I open the serial plotter graph, it shows the well line. Then it shows the graph Yeah, it is the voltage versus time graph Thank you everyone